I'm Mia Gia Santos and will present you my paper, The Vintage Trans System as a Mobility Alternative in Santos City, Brazil, Linking Past and Present in Historical City Center. Santos is one of the oldest Brazilian cities, a traditional seaside resort, home of 430,000 people, 27% of them elderly. Where the largest port in Latin America is located, famous because of coffee exportations, and was the gateway for immigrants on last centuries. It's the ground zero of Sao Paulo Highway, connecting inner to ocean, and is the, also the Brazilian capital of cruise ship lines. Santos is a historical city where the first Brazilian charity hospital was opened by Portuguese settlers, where the tallest Brazilian building was built in 1865 to host the city council, it nowadays hosts the Pili Museum, the famous footballers' museum. The Coffee Exchange was built in 1922, where was located the Brazilian Wall Street. Fast growing, Santos was the first Brazilian city to receive train services in 1871, first pulled by horses, then steam train engine, and finally electric trains. In 1945, Santos had the highest mobility survey extension in Brazil, average of 1 meter trans service for each 1.35 inhabitants. However, in the 1930s, there was the coffee crisis. Additionally, worldwide seats were expanding to peripheral districts. In this context, Santos entered a period of stagnation. In the mid-20th century, trans services lost efficiency when automobiles and buses emerged, being deactivated in 1971. Issue addressed by this paper, threats to environment, mobility and tourism in Santos Historical Center. In the late 1990s, the narrow city center streets became congested by traffic, being important to highlight that it's also the port region. Additionally, there were many abandoned buildings in that region. The solution was to bring back historic old trains on tracks, connecting tourist attractions. In this chart, we can see the main characteristics of this initiative, which was created in 2000 and improved in 2009. Total budget of more than $2 million, funded initially by municipality and then subnational government. Currently, the 5-kilometer route connects 30 attractions in 50 minutes, charging $2 per route. The collection has 13 trains, being four of them under restoration. The complex, encompassing the trains, train tracks, and hood, is known as Santos Live Train Museum. We have similar cases around the world to learn from. In Istanbul, Turkey, for instance, they have two lines fully integrated to transit system, being one of them in a pedestrian zone, and the other running in regular streets alongside buses. In San Francisco, the three lines operate on streets, also served by buses, cars, and as the Turkish case, fully integrated to the transit system. In this paper, the philosophical framework is the triple bottom line theory, TBL theory, by John Melton, used to account the action on three sustainability dimensions, social, environmental, and financial. In this chart, we can see the main accomplishments organized into the three dimensions. In the social dimension highlights, for instance, inclusion of elderly people as drivers or guides, known as trans-grandfathers, creation of new experiences, such as the carnival in Turin, the coffee trend serving coffee, and the archie trend to host events, heritage preservation, and so on. Related to environmental aspects, original trends were recycled and restored, Use of electricity, minimizing emissions and noise, heritage preservation also. Finally, concerning financial aspect, affordable tickets, efficient operation, soft power telling the city's history, choice of transport mode in our streets, and so on. Here we can see the city center 
and the Tran as scenario for film production. The Tran as the city's tourism logo. On the framework of sustainability, possible improvements include stronger integration with other transportation modes, such as the cruise ship terminal, and better integration with the Seed Center Regeneration Program, Cheerful the Center. Seed Center Regeneration is a major urban challenge around the world. The solution found here added up the city's vocation, history, tourism, and the elderly people, and the sustainability, resulting on the vintage trend system. The system was created in a lower dimension and was implemented nine years later, becoming a hit. Anyway, improvements is still are possible, such as the better integration with the transit system, cruise ship terminal, and bike paths, as well as with strategies of city center regeneration. This paper has explored the fundamental elements to enable solutions in seats, heritage preservation, partnerships with civil society, national subnational governments, international seats, and the private sector, as well as mobility and sustainability. Thanks for your attention. In case you have clarifications, I'm at your disposal through my email, which you can see here. In the next slides, you'll have information about the author and the image sources. Bye-bye.